Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Platform of Learning Linguistics. Today, we're gonna talk about formal links or cohesive devices. Cohesive devices or formal links refer to the linguistic features which are used to link one word, phrase or sentence to another one. Formal links are normally used to achieve cohesion. And some common formal links are named as the referring expressions, second, verb form, third, parallelism, fourth, repetitions, fifth, substitutions, sixth, ellipses, and seventh, conjunctions. We will explain one by one in a great detail. Number first, referring expressions. In a piece of language, cohesion is achieved by using these referring expressions that direct the hearer or reader to look elsewhere for their interpretation. Referring expressions can be of two types. Number first, anaphoric references. Number second, cataphoric references. Anaphoric references refer back to another unit that was mentioned before. For example, here you can see in the example that Ali asked Alia to buy him a car. Now, him, the word him, refers back to another unit that was mentioned before, and that unit is Ali. Now, him refers back to Ali. Such kind of expression, such kind of reference is called anaphoric reference, where we refer back to a unit that was already mentioned. The second type of uh, a referring expression is cataphoric references. Cataphoric references refer ahead to another unit that is mentioned later. For example, waving at him happily, Ali saw Aslam come out. Here, you can see in the example that him refers ahead to another unit that is mentioned later in the text, that is Ali. Now, him refers ahead to Ali. Such kind of reference is called cataphoric reference and it is one of the types of referring expressions. The second formal link is verb form. The verb form of the verb can limit the choice of the verb form in the next. Usually the tense or verb form in the first sentence, phrase or clause, conditions all the others which come next in that sentence. For instance, if we say that he was a good boy, he goes to school, he will eat mango, he was innocent. Now, here you can see that such kind of expressions, such kinds of sentences are wrong in, in, in a single paragraph where we used past tense in the first, past form of verb in the first sentence, that is, he was a good boy. Then he goes, like, he goes to school. Here, the sentence shifts to the present one, from past to the present. Now, he will eat mango. What is this now? We turn to future tense. And then again, he was innocent, we turns again to the past tense. Now, this is not a good kind of text or verb in the first sentence that was passed. The others in this paragraph, like we should, uh, this paragraph should be correct if we write it as he was a good boy. boy. He went to school. He ate mango. He was innocent. Now, the tense or the verb form in all of the sentences is the same. And this is, uh, you know, uh, the verb form tells you the same. That if your verb form in the first 
sentence is in the present or past or whatever the next sentences should follow the same tense or should be written or spoken in the same tense in order to achieve cohesion the third formal link or cohesive device is called parallelism it is another link within discourse which is affected by parallelism a device which suggests a connection simply because the form of one sentence or clause repeats the form of another and this is often used in speeches prayers poetry and advertisements where a form is repeated again and again in order to achieve cohesion now the example of parallelism is uh, is an excerpt from a novel the two a tale of two cities that is it was the best of time it was the worst of times it was the age of age wisdom it was the age of foolishness it was the epoch of belief it was the epic of incredulity incredulity it was the season of light it was the season of darkness it was the spring of hope it was the winter of despair now you can see here the form it was the it was the is repeated it was the is repeated again and again so such kind of repetition of a form is called parallelism now we have different kinds or types of parallelism which are structural parallelism phonological when sounds are repeated again and again we have also lexical parallelism when some words are repeated again and again now the fourth formal device is repetition repetition of a word word or phrase in the text helps to focus your ideas and to keep your ideas on track so it also helps us in achieving the cohesion okay for instance here in the example aslam is my friend he is a good boy he prays five times a day he is 20 years of age now he is repeated again and again and he refers to aslam okay he is used as pronoun for the noun aslam here the word he is repeated three times such type of repetition is common but is considered as vulgar to avoid such type of repetition we often use elegant repetition it is a type of repetition in which a word is repeated but with a different description for instance pakistan and india are the rival countries their rivalry goes continue for decades islamabad tried to talk to delhi but of no avail this type of repetition where we use what is lamabad instead of pakistan and we use delhi for india such kind of repetition with a different description is called elegant repetition and this type of repetition is not considered as vulgar so such kind of repetition should be used instead of that common type of repetition the fifth formal link is called substitution cohesion is often achieved by substituting or replacing special words for ones that have already been used the most common substitutes used in english language are number first one one which is used to substitute for noun or noun phrases do verbs are substituted with the word or verb do and so 
which is often used to substitute for a whole clause. Here the example of one is, I left the school and went to the one in Peshawar. Okay, here you can see that went to the one in Peshawar. Now one replaces the word school. Okay, or one substitutes the word word school. Now we have the example of G, and example is I have not finished yet. When I do, which means when I finish. Okay. You can start here. The verb do replaces the verb finish or word finish. Okay, now the example of so is Aslam. I think we have got rid of him for good. Akram, you really think so? Now the so verb so word so replaces the whole sentence which is spoken or uttered by. Aslam, that is, I think we have good right of him for good. Okay, such kind of replacement is called substitution in the course of discourse. The sixth formal link is called ellipsis. Ellipsis is another cohesive device. This is the omission of words on the assumption that the listener or reader will be able to supply them mentally. Okay, especially in face-to-face -face conversation, we often do not bother to encode information that can be understood from the linguistic or situational context. Example, A says, where are you going? B to London. Now he omits the phrase I'm going and he directly tells it to London. Okay? And the listener or the, the partner in this conversation A can mentally supply the phrase I'm going. To London so he can understand that he actually means that I'm going to London okay uh, the second example can be like do you like mango B yes I like now he makes the word mango and the uh, the partner that is A can understand that he actually means yes I like mango okay so such kind of formation of words or some part of a sentence okay when uh, 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 on the assumption that the listener or reader can supply th that part mentally so such kind of formation is called ellipses and the last formal link or cohesive device is called conjunction. A word or group of words used to connect words, phrases or clauses. It actually marks certain relationship between clauses and sentences or words. Examples can be that I was not informed, otherwise I should have taken some action. Here, there are two clauses in this sentence, which are, I was not informed, and I should have taken some action. And these two clauses are combined or connected together by the word otherwise, and such kind of word, such type of word is called conjunction, which connects one clause to another, one word to another, or one phrase to another phrase. So it was all about formal links or cohesive devices. Thanks for watching and never forget to subscribe to my channel.